Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna to take a quick look at this LG power adapter. It is a USB-C output and regular 120 volt prongs for inlet. You can see here that it is a model MCS N04WR and it's rated for 15 watts total output. You can see that it has the uh, CSA safety rating it has a class six efficiency rating, so we should expect very low idle power consumption from this one. Let's see what we have for a weight. 43 grams, so it's quite a light unit. Go ahead and turn on some power. All right, so the first thing we can see is the very, very low power consumption, 0 0.016 watts or thereabouts. Very good. Power factor is 0.36, which is actually not bad for just an idle state on a, a unit like this. You know, VA 0 0.045, negligible. The harmonic distortion on this uh, unit is typical of the wall adapters. It's very high, so about 180%. See that bouncing around a little bit, about 3% on the voltage THD. Let's go ahead and connect our ultra light duty load just to see how that changes. So we should see the power consumption come up a little bit. It looks like it does. Power factor stayed about the same. The current came up a little bit. You can see we're using, you know, still very, very low numbers. It's really not bad. Seems pretty reasonable for a device in this class, actually. Okay, go ahead and plug in our test board and we'll try and click the button, see what happens. Nothing, so it has five volts. It only has five volts. The decoy doesn't let us change the mode at all. I can push the button on here. So it stays at five volts all the time. So that is the max that this device can supply and the only voltage it can supply actually. So we can uh, go ahead and put some test load on it, see how it does. 10 watts, no problem. Power factor actually came up pretty bit. Uh, so our VA is about 20. About 12 watts in, it's fairly efficient actually. So overall, this might not be the worst performer. We got 10 watts, let's go ahead and take it up to 15 watts, which is rated to do. Power factor looking okay. Power in is actually really surprisingly good. This little power adapter is uh, quite efficient. Let's see, how, uh, let's see how it overloads. Let's take it up to 16 watts, and that's it, it's out. Travel back to 15 watts, let's see if it kicks back in on its own, or if I have to remove the load and then replace it. Yep. So you have to take the load away and then put it back on. So nah, that behaves great. I'm gonna go ahead and put up the overall numbers right now. This LG power adapter, we can look at the results for it and see that it's actually doing fairly well. The idle power quality is not fantastic because it does have that high THD, but overall the power consumption for it is extremely low. So in some instances, this is a class leader. Once we put it under load, we find that the efficiency is actually fairly good in the middle of the range, about seven and a half watts, but then it starts to taper off towards the higher end but because the THD is falling and the power factor is increasing, it actually does basically best in class across all the different kinds of power adapters. So overall, this thing actually beats out the anchor in terms of just general power quality and efficiency. This thing definitely gets a recommendation if you can find one of these. If we look at this on a graph, we can see that the idle power consumption is fairly low, but the power quality is not fantastic because it is, again, the THD value is pretty high. When we look at it under load though, we see that it actually falls amongst the top end basically, because um, it has moderately lower THD and, and good general power quality while, you know, not using the most amount of power, you know, the power efficiency is actually fairly good. So overall, I give this little LG adapter a recommendation. If you can find one of these for cheap enough on the used market, it's definitely a worthwhile adapter to have for, a, you know, fairly compact little adapter that gives you a USB-C port and uh, gives you fairly high quality power and it's very efficient and it's, you know, it's not going to cost you a lot if you leave it plugged in all the time. So that's a big deal. So thanks for watching. Uh, click the like and subscribe button. And uh, the best way to help creators like me is to, you know, share this video with somebody. So if you thought this was useful, please, please share. So thanks for watching. Bye.